What's up, Dodgers Nation? It's the 3 Up 3 Down podcast. I'm talking about the biggest start of Julio Urias' career in an elimination game five in San Francisco. And a quick question, a plea to the fine folks at TBS. Welcome back to the 3 Up 3 Down podcast. My name is Eric Elo, your host for this five-minute Dodgers Nation production. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram. That is at E-E-U. L-A-U. I'm recording this on Wednesday evening, which means by the time you're watching it, it's probably Thursday, which means Dodgers, Giants, Game 5, NLDS, Elimination Game, Winner Take All, Loser Goes Home, however you like to chop it up, this is the end of the saga for Dodgers, Giants in 2021. And much like an incredible action comic book that you worked all the way through to get to the final battle, the final chapter, there is nothing after this. It has to end here. And that is the only way it could have happened with these two teams. With how good they've been, the two best teams in baseball, going back and forth all year in the season series, going back and forth in the NLDS. This is how it had to be. And if you don't like baseball, I don't know what to tell you because it doesn't get any better than Dodgers-Giants. Sorry, Yankees-Red Sox. Dodgers-Giants, this is way, way better. And the Dodgers will have Julio Urias on the mound. This is the biggest start of Julio Urias' career. This is the biggest playoff start of his career. It's actually the only fifth playoff start of his career. And his career as a starter started all the way back in 2016 as a 20-year-old, as the youngest player to ever start a game in the NLCS against the Cubs game four. Didn't go that well, but hey, he was a kid. He's a completely different pitcher now. Then you get to 2020 NLCS game three against the Braves. That's the game the Dodgers scored a million runs in the first inning. It wasn't as big of a game of consequence. Game four World Series against the Rays, the weird Brett Phillips game. Sorry I mentioned it. Look, he pitched okay in that game. He gave up two earned two earned runs in just under five innings pitched. The Dodgers lost late, but that wasn't as important as this game. And obviously you look back at the game two against the Giants this year, and he pitched great. Five innings pitched, only one earned, five strikeouts, only one walk. This is a huge moment. This is the biggest start of Julio Urias' career because if this does not go well for the Dodgers, it's over. It is over for their season. It's not all on Julio, but you got to go at least five innings, which is what he's kind of done in the playoffs. He's never gone longer than five innings, and this Giants team knows him, and he knows the Giants. But what's really encouraging for Julio is he has a 2.01 ERA pitching in San Francisco. He knows the park really, really well. Obviously, the team knows him, so it cuts both ways, but he's pitched very well in San Francisco. For the year, a 3.38 ERA versus the Giants. Six of those 11 earned runs came in one god-awful start on May 29th. It is what it is. You can't pull the stat out and then give you the ERA. I'm not one of those guys, but there's just one really bad start in there, and the rest of them, he never gave up more than two earned. And you can tell just by the way the Giants talk about him in the press conference and their interviews that they respect the hell out of Julio Urias. And this is the best he's ever been as a starter in his career for this regular season. The lowest walk rate of his career at 5.1%, a 1.02 whip. He's just been absolutely dynamite. And the career ERA for his postseason includes him pitching as a 20-year-old. And yes, it is part of it, but it doesn't tell you what he's doing right now. And right now, you could argue, however you want to do it, he's a top 10, top 20 starter in baseball for what he's done. He has all the tools to pitch, not dominate, but pitch really, really well against this Giants team. Because I think there's going to be a run or two, I think because of the nerves. But I think Julio Urias can get done what he needs to do. And I think that's five strong innings for the Dodgers to get them in position to win this game five. This is the biggest start of his career, biggest playoff start of his career. And yes, it's not as big as game seven NLCS when he came in in relief or game six of the World Series. Not saying it is. I'm telling you, this is the biggest start of his career. And I think he's more prepared than he's ever been to succeed in this spot. Dodgers, Giants, Game five, it does not get any better than this. And Julio Urias is ready for another huge moment in the playoffs for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Admittedly, this is a little bit more lighthearted than a lot of the other content. But has anyone else noticed how often TBS cuts away to Gabe Kapler in the Giants dugout? Like, it's bizarre. It's really weird. To the point that I started counting. So from the fifth inning on of game four, TBS cut away to Gabe Kapler 18 times in the Giants dugout. They only showed Dave Roberts in the Dodgers dugout four or five times. I'm not saying there's a conspiracy theory that TBS wants the Giants to win, so they show Gabe Kapler more. I don't know if it's the hipster glasses, the salt and pepper beard, the I live in San Francisco, so I have to be 3% body fat and do a ton of CrossFit. 
I don't know what it is. Or the giant orange shoes that look like AAU basketball coach shoes. Maybe it's that. I don't know. But they cut away to Gabe Kapler a lot. How about you guys cut away to, I don't know, Buster Posey, who's going to be a Hall of Famer, or Evan Longoria, or... But they show Brandon Crawford a lot. There's a lot of cutaways there. But just please stop showing Gabe Kapler so much. He's hasn't. He's won 107 games. He's got him to game five. He's a good manager. I don't need to see him every four seconds on the broadcast. Thank you, TBS. That's all I'm asking for. And that is all I have time for during this podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the odd rant there. And make sure to check out Doug McCain on Dodgers Dugout, Blue Heaven Podcast with Clint and Brooke, and subscribe, rate, review to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Thank you. I will see you on the other side, and hopefully we are talking some NLCS the next time you're watching the 3-Up, 3-Down Podcast.